and he hasn't stopped trying to be a voice online for people since. And here he is today, all the way from California, to share with us who votes specifically for today. Join me in giving a warm welcome to Stephen Boyle. <laughs> Yeah, this is exactly what I thought this would feel like. <laughs> um, before I get started, I want to say I was never brave enough to join Open Doors when I was here. I wasn't even brave enough to come out. Um, so you guys are awesome to me. This is dedicated to the very, very pregnant Kim McGlynn, who uh, helped me find my voice. This is called Message Sent, or I'm nervous. Message Sent, and I'm nervous. For the first time, for the first time, free of fear, of seclusion, of self-loathing, of social preservation, set free by four words. I can be loved. And it's not because I stayed up at night conversing with any cosmic ear that would listen to me. Listen to me, I'm not that weird or different. Or rather, my love isn't because arguably I'm kind of a weird guy. But you knew that. I can be loved. The world that birthed me is listening to the voice I hid in a moleskin notebook where my pronouns weren't changed. My brothers and sisters of common struggle are recognized as people now, not billboards for a lifestyle misunderstood, robbed of morality and condemning comparisons like, no, I don't believe bestiality is a sensible progression to homosexuality. The forbidden love between man and animal is hardly comparable and wouldn't be if fear-mongering wasn't so tacky. But that's besides the point. I can be loved, and it has nothing to do with how he told me four months later, two bottles of wine deep, that he loved me. And it was the first time someone said they loved me without an accompanying goodbye, or as a friend. I thought that when I told him I loved him, the words would leave my mouth as a missile, blasting him off his feet, throwing him through a wall where he'd explode into a thousand pieces that he wouldn't let me touch or try to reassemble. I can be loved. And the only reason why is because I can allow myself to be loved by opening the door that I had fastened several fearful locks on. When I shifted rusted bolts back and unlatched the chain, I released that fear of letting anyone in, which meant that I could let myself out. And I'm out now. And I'm nervous. I open the door and release myself into a world where I am vulnerable, but only because I'm brave enough as a person to allow myself to be vulnerable. I can be loved. I know this. Those friends I was scared would leave didn't leave. They stuck around armed with a whole arsenal of jokes about gay sex that I laughed at, just not in the moment. When it comes to busting friends' chops, I like to do the chop busting. I can be loved. Because despite my religious use of sarcasm, there is a part of me that wants to be able to simply say thank you for sticking around when I needed you the most. I should put that in a poem. I'm out, and I'm nervous, not because people were going to leave, because if they were going to leave, they've already left, and without even being conscious of it, I am better for their absence. I'm out, and I'm nervous, not because I'm afraid of being picked on. I am nobody's fool. I am a product of generations of militant military upbringings, broken homes, and a family that when it came to love only knew the tough brand. I am George School and university educated, dedicated to the vow I made when I looked death in the eyes during a staring contest until we both came to an understanding that my work isn't done quite yet. I am the person I respect and fear the most. And I don't care who you are, but I'm not afraid of you anymore, but that's besides the point. I can be loved. Released from fear's tight grip and surviving not one, but two attempts on my own life. I have nothing left but love. It's the strongest force I've ever tried to control. The thought of trying to close the floodgates I open sends chills down my spine that dance preemptively with the victory over the notion that anyone can stop my progression. I wonder, I wonder, if the people who fear me and my kind fear us as much as we feared ourselves when we thought of killing ourselves so we wouldn't be a nuisance to the people we loved and the people we were told we couldn't. I'm out and I'm nervous. But only because suddenly I have nothing left to fear except the horrendous amount of love I have been hoarding my whole life. I'm scared when he sees this side of me and how much love I have to give that he won't think he deserves it because he's been told time and time again that he doesn't deserve it. I'm out and I'm nervous. 
I'll spend every day convincing you that you deserve all the love in the world because I convinced myself, and I'm a very, very stubborn person. Message sent and I am nervous, but for the first time, for the first time, free of fear, of seclusion, of self-loathing, and of social preservation. I can be loved, and I can love you if you allow me. And I will do nothing but love you as we sit and argue about what we're going to watch on Netflix. Or what we're going to eat that night, because you said anything, but you meant anything that isn't Chinese pizza, wings, or Thai food. <laughs> I will love you because I can now. Because there's no good reason why I shouldn't. Because I love the way you look me in the eyes when you know I'm about to make a move. Or when you're wearing that shirt I like and I can't keep my hands to myself. I'm out. And I'm nervous. But the hard part's over, I can be loved. And I will try to love more and more every day. After the hundredth date, after the thousandth kiss, and well after the first time I accidentally heard you let one rip in the car after Chipotle. <laughs> and after you get mad that I keep bringing it up. Or how I told an entire assembly at high school. <laughs> because what's important is this. Things started to get better when I let things get better. I won against my fears because I bit the bullet and initiated the battle until the enemy within me waved the white flag high. I chose to be happy and I grew a candle of hope in a dark room into a spotlight where I could tell the world I'm out and I'm nervous and it just keeps getting better.